Thank you for joining me at Evolutionary Energy Arts once again. So one of the things I hear from so many people right now is what's going on with the energy? Why do I feel the way I'm feeling? So many people are feeling different, funky, like they are just in some sort of slump. They can't get their energy going. All they want to do is sleep all day. They're not wanting the same foods they used to want you know if it was a case where they used to love barbecue or big steak all of a sudden they just don't want it anymore they don't even feel like eating as much in many cases many people are going through big changes they're they're gonna feel sensations of hot temperature changes through the body and then all of a sudden they might feel cold and like they're freezing even though the room might be 76 degrees a lot of people are also getting vertigo they're feeling dizzy a lot of pressure in the head uh, blurred vision ringing in the ears uh, the thing I hear the most though is you know people that just all they want to do is go home and sleep you know they just want to go and take a nap they feel like they need a lot more sleep than they used to and then all of a sudden it could hit them you could be just going along buzzing along in your day and then all of a sudden it's like you just got to go lay down and just even take a, a five or ten minute power nap you just have to you also are getting weird buzzing sensations weird energetic vibrations at times you might feel electrical type of feeling in your hands or your limbs very very unusual feelings changes in sleep patterns all of a sudden waking up at 3 a.m. all the time or waking up at 5 a.m. or 6 a.m. and you're kind of ready to go and you're ready to hit today even though you don't usually get up until 7 or 8 but then all of a sudden you'll need a, a power nap and short-term memory loss is another thing that so many people are going through now some people that have been on a more spiritual higher vibrational path are feeling like this physical reality is not even real and I myself have experienced this quite a bit and I have been on a treadmill or an elliptical on the gym and pumping away pretty hard and I'll look down and usually if my heartbeat my heart rate was at like 130 and I'm sweating pretty profusely really going at it I'll look down and my heart rate will be like 100 or 105 and, and not even really elevated. And then I actually did this, um, I think it was last Sunday. I decided to raise the machine up to the highest levels and I was just pumping away at it. And still my heart rate was like low. And then it just wasn't registering anymore for a while. And yet... You know, I was pumping away real hard and I wasn't even getting winded. And I'm not the only one that's experienced this. I have other friends that have told me the same thing. Like when they go on the machine and it's reading their heart rate, all of a sudden it's not finding their heart rate anymore. And so there's all these different things going on with us energetically. And so what is going on? What is affecting so many different people? Do you have any of these symptoms? Have you noticed changes in your sleep pattern, changes in your eating pattern? So many people um, have been telling me that they used to crave, you know, barbecue chicken or a big steak or a pork roast or this and that. And now they can't even look at meat and it makes them sick and nauseous. And they're naturally gravitating to live foods, like eating a lot of fruits and veggies. And they just want a snack. They don't really want anything much. They just want, you know, an orange, a grapefruit, uh, a piece of watermelon, something like that. Or they're just snacking on some nuts. And that's enough to get them going and keep them going all day. So tons of changes going on. So what is going on? I remember when this first started happening to me, I started to think what is wrong with me I mean there's something wrong right and I thought well maybe my Lyme's disease is relapsing or that's starting to hit me again uh, but it wasn't really the case and I came across some interesting articles and and this is going quite a bit farther back in time 
and I started to hear about ascension and ascension symptoms of what people go through with ascension and I've gone through pretty much all the symptoms of ascension that you're going to go through and I realize now it was a learning curve and it was a it was a chance to get rid of old stagnant energetic patterns in myself so these patterns these are energetic blockages if you will that we have to go through and then purge and then release and as you release these things you will start to go into a higher vibratory state and physical things that used to entice you will no longer entice you and physical symptoms and ailments and things will start to disappear you know in case of if you have arthritis all of a sudden it might be like huh I don't have arthritis anymore I, I really don't feel anything there my my lower back used to bother me and well now it's fine but before you get to this point you tend to go through some pretty pretty tough symptoms as you purge these energies in Taoism and in Qigong medical Qigong we have something that's called um, Lao channels that develop and Lao channels are basically these these channels in the body energetic pathways that develop when we can't process a certain energy a certain thought a certain reality say it's a relationship you know like you you know can't speak up to your husband and you just keep shutting it down and you want to speak your mind but you can't so what you do is you basically just eat the energy you just stuff it you don't let it out you suppress it and it actually goes to a physical location in your body and a lot of times you'll develop these mystery aches and pains in these ailments and when you go to the doctor they'll do MRIs CAT scans what have you and there's nothing wrong they have no explanation for you so take a pill just take a pill and chill and that's their you know their offering for you but in reality what has happened is you are suppressing energies and you are energy that's all you are your consciousness and energy and that's it vibration so it gets suppressed it has a physical location in your body and at some point in time you're going to need to release it in order to release the aches and the pains and all the negative energies that are with it and as we release these things we increase in our own personal vibratory rate and we need to go through this in order to purge and move to higher levels everything is frequency and vibration and I've said this many times before as have many many others when we're brought up here in the West and we're brought up in fundamentalist systems we, we have a tendency to not look at things that way you know and when we look at o past generations they tended to look at things as black and white when really it's all different shades of gray everything is frequency and vibration so we can choose to tune into a different frequency or vibration at any time it's just a simple matter of consciously willing it and doing the necessary work so if you have all these things going on a good chance is that you are actually going through the process of ascension and ascension is being jump started to a very high degree because we are going through a pole reversal so the magnetosphere is decreasing allowing in more cosmic radiation that radiation is activating latent dormant DNA in you and it's turning you on in a way it, it's going to increase your ability to perceive other levels of reality that have been hidden from you and you are conditioned from birth to have these levels of reality hidden from you by your belief system by the Western medical system that tells you sorry mrs. Jones it's something you're gonna have to live with you're just gonna have to live with it it's never going to go you're gonna have this for the rest of your life when you should tell that doctor to go shove it up is whatever because you don't have to accept these limiting beliefs the beliefs limit you every cell in your body is constantly changing all the time you are an entirely new being from the being that was sitting there seven years ago every cell changes 
you can create a new blueprint. We have so much more power over ourselves than we think. Why is this so? Well, it's in order to make profits for the corporations, for the pharmaceutical companies. That's why they keep us in the dark as to our own healing abilities and powers. We can all heal ourselves. It's a matter of simple choice. Obviously, if your arm got cut off in an accident, that's a little different. Um, however, if we're talking autoimmune disease, even if we're talking cancer and something along those lines, um, even if we're talking, as we were saying, um, things like tendinitis, things like inflammation, things like arthritis, um, all these things we can actually cure ourselves from. It's just a matter of reprogramming the neural pathways in the brain. And we know we can reprogram neural pathways. We can reprogram them through meditation. We can reprogram them through mantras, through positive affirmations. All you've got to do is keep saying it over and over in your head. And I'll go back to Michael Jordan. Uh, Michael Jordan is a perfect example of somebody that was like going on a different plane. It's because... He visualized the ball falling in every single time. He saw it. His will was so strong that his body did exactly what he was willing. And the top athletes are like that. They're able to focus in to a much higher degree. And some people will say, ah, oh, it's just their genetics. You can rewrite your genetics. <clears throat> you can totally rewrite your genetics. Our DNA is changeable. If you watched my last video and we were talking about the astronaut in space, the cosmic radiation elongated his telomeres. Telomeres are what causes aging. As the telomeres shorten, we age. The cosmic radiation elongated his telomeres. They increased his lifespan. We are being conditioned right now to fear the sun to fear the cosmic radiation coming in. It's going to cause cancer. It's going to cause this. It's going to cause that. It might just cure us. It might just make us more than human. It might take us to the next evolutionary leap in humanity. It might make us into, as they are hinting in all the media, if you watch Netflix, if you go to the movies, you know, what do you see everywhere? what's everywhere right now movies shows about superheroes who are the superheroes the superheroes of today are the gods of yesterday so while now we have you know iron man and we have spider man and we have you know all these different beings some of them are still gods like thor um in the past we had the gods and what they're saying is this is a transitional time and you're going to see people with superhuman abilities in your lifetime and there are real superhumans out there right now their dna is mutating they are elevating their consciousness they are embracing the cosmic radiation and it's changing them for the better for the good it's re invigorating and turning on dna that has been turned off most of our DNA is so-called junk DNA. It's not junk DNA. It's latent DNA. It's DNA that has been shut off on purpose to keep us in a small vibratory frequency where we can only get one channel. And thus we are totally controlled by the elite. <clears throat> Do you think the elite aren't aware of other frequencies, other channels? They don't want us connecting to the higher dimensions. There's a reason why they put in religion the fear of witchcraft, the fear of demons, the fear of non-visible entities, because they don't want you expanding your consciousness and realizing there is a huge universe out there that exists on all different frequencies. There are many, many, many benevolent beings out there that want to help you angelic beings spirit guides things along those lines that want to help humanity positive extraterrestrial races that are third dimensional fourth dimensional fifth dimensional and higher that are dying for the opportunity to help humanity get out of its warlike condition 
join the rest of the universe in a peaceful manner and become one unified humanity that is no longer controlled by the cabal by the Rothschilds by the you know the banking industry and the pharmaceutical industry these lower vibrational entities that have controlled us pitted us against each other don't want us waking up to this bigger reality because they don't have their slaves anymore <clears throat> they don't have their source of food and fuel and so they're losing they're losing their their good life in their mind you know their birthright in their mind but this is the time when we wake up this is the time when we realize our few our full potential as humans which is so much more than what we have been taught we have been taught limiting beliefs do not fear yourself do not fear higher entities do not fear what you can become realize there is so much more to this think about who has given you these limiting beliefs it's the fundamentalist religions the fundamentalist viewpoint that says there's only one right way it's mine your way is wrong and that's not the case there are many paths there are many legitimate paths there are many legitimate branches it does not matter really which one you take as long as it resonates with you do not fear you know God is not fear God is love and all religions you know basically agree on this and we have really the wrong vision of what the source is because the source is a loving source so the visions and the beliefs of hellfire and damnation are to be discarded that's all fear based and fear has nothing to do with love and has nothing to do with source so we need to discard that and we need to move forward bravely hand in hand with each other and pull each other up we have been living in a world of duality and it's time to transcend that duality it's time to move beyond the black and white it's time to realize that everything is one we must go beyond duality we duality keeps us in bondage it keeps us seeing everything as them and me when in reality it's just us it's just we we need to move beyond that and if you're experiencing these symptoms then you are in the process of moving on and moving into the higher frequencies and you're going to be much much happier when you do that because you're going to shed your old beliefs your old societal structures you're going to become free you're not going to be a slave anymore you're not going to be slave to a ideology that preaches fear and damnation and condemnation that fe the, an ideology that preaches limitations on humans that's not the case yes you know there are changes going on all around us and this is the birth pangs of a new age for sure and there are many of you that say oh that's just new ageism one comment was uh, you've quoted every new ageism it's science science is bearing this out and then some of you won't trust the science you'll say well they gave us you know the bad guys gave us every other religion but my religion and they're giving us all the science now too look beyond it who controls the world and look at who has controlled the world you know when we go from the Anunnaki to the Sumerian kings and then from the Sumerian kings we go to the Roman Empire and the Roman Empire birthed the Roman Catholic Church so you have that limited branch of Christianity that gave us all of the fundamental Christianities we also have Islam coming out of that traditional Islam again any religion that says that mine is the only path we must really look bigger look at the bigger picture look beyond limiting views realize what did the inquisition do it, it, it slaughtered so many people that never should have been slaughtered it imposed the will of the church on humanity and we're ready we don't need any intermediary we don't need to confess our sins to a priest we could go directly to source 
the same thing with any religion that controls you and any political system that controls you. We must look beyond the political systems. We must look beyond the religions that we've been brought up with if they constrict us and if they basically imposed self-inflicted defeatist attitudes. Anything that says, you know, I'm worthless is, is not going to be good. You know, it's you're not worthless. You know, you are a piece of source. You have the divine within you. Every single person does. There is unlimited potential with every single person. Lao Tzu said the key to growth is the introduction of higher dimensions of consciousness into our awareness. In order to do that, we must purge ourselves of limiting beliefs. Albert Einstein said, A human being is part of a whole, called by us the universe. A part limited in time and space, he experiences himself, his thoughts and feelings, as something separated from the rest, a kind of optical delusion of his consciousness. This delusion is a kind of prison for us, restricting us in our own personal desires and to affection for just a few people nearest us. Our task must be to free ourselves from this prison by widening our circles of compassion, to embrace all living creatures in the whole of nature, in its beauty, embrace each other, every single variance. It's not that we need to become a homogenous whole and all become one race or one culture. No, not at all. Embrace the diversity. It's freaking beautiful. But realize there is no just one path in the sense that there's one religion, there's one proper political persuasion. There's a myriad of possibilities out there. Just as the fact that what we view as a universe is probably a multiverse with all different layers, all different possibilities and probabilities are playing themselves out at any moment. Release your negative thoughts release the restrictive thoughts and we need to do the same with our leaders we must realize that at the core there is pure consciousness that's all there is we live in a unified field all the natures of all the laws of nature flow from this consciousness the way to get there is through meditation as well as some other practices praying is beautiful you know, prayer, use prayer, use meditation, use mantras. The Vedic mantras will open up your chakras and open you up to higher states of consciousness. You could create your own mantras. It, it doesn't really matter. Use positive affirmations. Every day and every way, I am mean, becoming a stronger, more powerful being, a being of pure love, pure compassion, completely happy, completely healthy, stronger and wiser and better in every way something along those lines take it and reprogram yourself because you can overwrite the computer program that you were born with we have to think about it that way our dna is like a computer program it's something we were given we can modify it we can modify our program we can modify our thoughts we can modify our reality change our reality into what we want it to be there are many different dimensions to our being. Of course, we have the physical being, our energy field, which we can see and measure now. And we could see that other people can affect our energy field. We can affect our energy field. We are tied to the earth and to the heavens. And at our core, yes, we are each a star. That is truly what you are. When you're looking up into the night sky, all those stars you see, those are beings. Those are all beings with consciousness on some level. The ancients understood this. We can remember this. We should have a vibrant energy body with a full rainbow of colors. And as we know in the Tibetan practice, if you remember some of the videos I was talking about where they create the rainbow body, then they basically go on to immortality. They, they shed the physical and lift up into higher vibrations. Many people, if you could see the energy body, have a, a distorted energy body. 
And when you're holding jealousy, when you're holding energies of a negative value, like greed, when you're holding judgment against others, when you're holding all these negative emotions, gluttony, you know, and, and greediness, self-centeredness, all these things create negative energy patterns in your energy field. Everything manifests first in the energy field. Then it will sink down into the physical body and manifest as disease. Have you noticed, you know, how people with certain repetitive emotions develop the same diseases? It's because they are energy based in origin. If we shed them, we can become something so much higher. We can basically become as the gods themselves, for we do have the DNA and the blood of the gods in us. It's in us. You know, what we can become is so much more. If you are familiar with the Hebrew Kabbalah, Elijah and Enoch were taken up into the heavens. They were brought to be with God. And in tradition now of the Kabbalah, they are now Metatron and Sandalphon, two of the most powerful angels in the heavens. They are translated into a much higher state of being. And now they are serving all of creation on a much higher level as much more powerful beings. This is our destiny. This is really what we are here for. We are here to evolve. So yes, there is creation and yes, there is evolution. There's both. If you want to find the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. And I say this every single day. And Nikola Tesla, as I've quoted in other videos, one of the most brilliant minds we've ever had, ever. And that's the truth. Tesla and Einstein are a lot more intelligent than almost everybody out here, including myself. And they understood it. And we can understand it. And we can move together forward into a new reality. 12 symptoms of a spiritual awakening. An increased tendency to let things happen rather than make them happen. Trust. Trust that they'll happen. Know that they'll happen. Frequent attacks of smiling. That's a beautiful thing. Feelings of being connected with others and nature. Yes, just the opposite of feeling disconnected. Frequent overwhelming episodes of appreciation. Appreciation and gratitude will open and expand your heart center. And this will align you to the higher frequencies and it will change you. But you must release the old energies. The old energies of saying my way is the right way, yours is the wrong way. I'm going to heaven, you're going to hell. There's no love in that. There is no love in that. And it's, it's understandable that we've been conditioned to believe those things. But they're not the truth. They're not. They're far from the truth. An unmistakable ability to enjoy each and every moment. And that's a beautiful thing. Especially if you're in a line and you're waiting for something. And you might really want to get out of there. You might want to check out the store really quick. Or you might have to go home or whatever. But the ability to look at the people around you, notice interactions between a mother and her child or the person in front of you with the clerk that's checking them out and enjoy that. Just enjoy being in other people's field of energy and send them a frequency of love and vibration and of understanding and compassion. When you have more compassion for others, others will have more compassion for you naturally because we sense each other's energy all the time. You will lose the ability to worry and you'll have a loss of interest in conflict you won't want to uh, needle others and and get them irritated you'll want to soothe them you'll want to get them out of their bad mood instead of you know bring on even more and you just won't worry about things because you know things will work out a loss of interpreting the action of others and so when somebody lashes out at you and says, you know, wow, that was stupid. You'll just let it go, you know, and you'll understand, well, they probably had something else that triggered them or they're working through something. And you just won't judge. And that gets to our next one, a loss of interest in judging others, a loss in interest in judging yourself. Let yourself 
catch a break forgive yourself we all quote unquote sin we all all the time fall short of being our highest self it's okay we're on this path to learn this is school this is why we're here we're here to learn and to grow gaining the ability to love without expecting anything in return and that is so beautiful and then whatever comes back your way it's just pure blessing do not control others do not expect from others just allow what comes to you to be a blessing and just give thanks at the center of the universe dwells the great spirit and that center is really everywhere it's within each of us and that is how we are connected through the great spirit through whatever you want to call it consciousness has no religion and it has no nationality that's that's man-made constructs realize that it's just labels and we'll stop labeling things as we grow spiritually you won't have a need to label unity consciousness is where we're heading it's a state of enlightenment where we pierce the mask of illusion which creates separation and fragmentation behind the appearance of separation is the one unified field of wholeness here the seer and the scenery are one and we simply are we just are and that's when you could just be and enjoy it that's from deepak chopra and very very wise so what are you to do with your symptoms? How do you get rid of these ascension symptoms? How do you clean yourself out? Well, a good place to start is detoxifying. In this world that we live in, you need to detoxify every day. And yes, we need to de detoxify physically by eating fresh, organic, non-GMO fruits and veggies as much as possible. Your fruits and your veggies are going to be what gives you the most nutrition and life force because when you eat something that is alive, it still has the chi in it. It still has the bioelectric force of life inside it, which is going to help your body purge, quicken, feed, lift you up in many, many different ways. Fruits and veggies are also a higher percentage of water and alkaline water. So that's going to be hydrating. It's also going to help you with your electrical charge because we are electrical beings. This is an electrical universe. The planet itself is electrical. Everything is biomagnetism, electricity. So eat as many organic, non-GMO fruits and veggies as possible. And especially good is anything green and leafy. Chlorella, spirella, spinach, kale, broccoli is good too. I mean, all these things are great. Lemons are great for alkalizing the body, as is li limes. And so go on a detox. And we could talk about that in, in far greater details in many other videos to come. And there's so many videos on detoxing on YouTube as well. We also need to energetically detox from time to time. Get away from all the electricity and everything that's throwing out electromagnetic frequencies all around us. Get out in nature, ground, put your feet, bare feet on the ground. Knowingly sink your roots from your feet into the earth and feel the earth below you. Draw the earth's energy up with your breath and bring it into your body. And then draw down cosmic energy from above and bring it in through the crown chakra and send it into the earth below and merge those two within you. For you are the union of both heaven and earth. You are of both. You are of the earth mother, you can view it as, and you are of the cosmic father. And you are the unified energy of both. Again, start by doing a detox and do a detox on a regular basis. And again, detox both physically and also give yourself time away from any electrical energetic devices. Yes, it means we have to get off our computers and our phones now and then. And that will help us as well. Yeah. And I will go into much greater detail in upcoming videos dedicated completely just to detoxification and different techniques. I do have a lot of other videos out there that I put out early on. And you might want to go check out some of those. Uh, underneath the um, meditation and energy work and qigong and also under health diet and nutrition check out some of the ones i put out earlier uh, there's a lot of different ideas in there both how to ground to root how to draw energy into your body to help you with this process to lift you up 
and you will be changed in a positive way as you shed your negative energies for this is our route and this is our path and we are living in exciting times and these are incredible times to be alive in um, yes there's a lot of change coming yes there's some scary things coming but we're going to rise above and you are consciousness and you are energy energy cannot be created or destroyed you're not going to just poof and never be here again the body is the most dense physical layer of our being but we have many bodies layered one atop of the other and you are a multi-dimensional being that is meant to function on many different levels at one time not just this physical level and you are going to become more aware of this multi-dimensional part of yourself as time goes on and you might even see energy around you you might be able to see auras as as the energies increase you might be able to see that there's beings in other dimensions that are passing you all this is natural and it's a natural progression as we rise up in frequency as always please do the thumbs up help support the channel always please share especially a message like this we need to get this out to as many people as possible share 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 help others with their journey so that we'll have less negativity in the world and that will raise everybody's consciousness up and we'll change this world it's all about manifesting it how many times did jesus say the kingdom of heaven lies within you it's in you right now the seeds are right there and they're being sown it's growing within you manifest it feed it allow it to grow allow it to blossom fully so subscribe if you have not subscribed yet and share with friends and put it everywhere you possibly could so we could help others on their journey and their path. So I wish you all peace, love, happiness, light. May the blessings of source in whatever way you view it be upon you and help you in these times. And I thank you guys so much for your comments and sharing and, and supporting the channel. And I look forward to seeing you all again soon. Much love, my friends. Take care.